There we go. Finally taken off. Here we go. Now it's my stream. Now it's my stream. All right. I can officially welcome you to the Hamilton takeover of Botez's stream. What's up, guys? Appreciate the raid again from Eric Rosen on behalf of Alexandra, of course. Welcome, everybody. I, uh, I'm happy to be here giving some commentary here on Alexandra and Chiyu. So Alexandra's playing white here. Um, it looks like we'll just run through that opening real quick as it uh, came out pretty, pretty fast. Okay, so it looks like, looks like Alexandra is uh, playing against the hanging pawns here whenever you have this structure. Uh, pretty much, okay, f4 is very committal right off the bat. Um, normally if you had a pawn on d4, I would say f4 makes a little more sense anchoring the knight there. But what we see here is black opening up the bishop, and already this knight has to decide where to go. Knight b5 is really looking like, uh, like the move, just because it would hit two pawns there. Um, knight b1 probably means that, uh, that the trades were good for, or the, the result was good for black. I think this, this expansion is nice. Uh, queen d5, be careful, there's always bishop f3, bishop c5, king h1. Now, I imagine white wants to go something like knight there to c4, also bishop to f3. What's up, what's up? What is Amon's rating? My rating doesn't matter. It's all about these girls right here. It's uh, WFM Alexandra Botez and FM Chiu Joe. Tommy Shelby in the chat as well. Thanks to Simon for the 100 bits. All the donations here. Support Alexandra's channel and support the, uh, the possibility to do future matches and put up prize funds and get people in here commentating and whatnot. So um, it goes goes a long way. I know she's uh, got a match right now. She's also got one planned with Eric Rosen tomorrow. So you can tell the, the donations go straight, straight to uh, supporting more of this stuff. Queen d5. Uh, hey, threatening. A very, very obvious looking move there. I would say I, I, I like the position after maybe something like this, even just the idea of trading queens. Now let's say you take, feels like this knight's a great blockader, and you're gonna win that pawn because, hey, that bishop is under attack there. So I feel like uh, I feel like that would be a decent option. Queen d2 defends the pawn, and I wonder is that rook going to slide over or not? Hey, chess bay. Bishop b4, queen e2. Okay, takes. I would have maybe considered taking with the knight. I know the knight looks really good in the center, but seriously, knight takes d3. I, I would have definitely considered there. Just really nice to blockade that pawn. But, of course, queen d3. Hitting the pawn. Hard to uh, hard to say no to that. Now, uh, I feel like white's king needs an escape square. I feel like h3 would make me a lot happier. Because white's about to go knight f3. Look to... Basically, I have all the pieces piling up on that pawn. Maybe knight e7 here. The thing is, it's very difficult to defend this pawn. There's back rank threats, so maybe maybe we're not scared about that just yet. The thing is, knight e7, queen d4. There's no way out of this exchange. You're going to have to trade pieces. Um, to me, black needs to keep pieces on the board, so something like rook c8, trying to get down here. But white white definitely has the, the firm upper hand here. Um, if if that was to happen. How else do you defend the pawn though? Bishop c5 can be played. And then I think knight knight f3 is definitely uh, definitely a move here for for Alexandra. And again, I would always take the time to potentially give an escape square there. Okay, going a little more aggressive here. One thing to keep in mind is the possibility of like a, a checkmate idea there. I know it seems crazy, but let's say that rook was to leave the back rank. Got to be very careful of queen e8. And I should remind you guys, whoa, Ulan Kolofid, thank you for the $30. As always, on behalf of Alexandra, this, uh, this goes straight to supporting more matches like this. Appreciate the $30. Face Chess also with a gifted sub. Thank you, Face Chess. And then uh, he's making sure that, <laughs> making sure that Chiyu herself is indeed subbed to the channel. As she is playing the match. So I think that's that's a, a well-placed gifted sub there. Thanks very much. Uh, I was about to say, remember that this match is, I mean, it's really important to remember, there's no increment. It is a you know a fight to the death here. There is going to be flagging, dirty tricks. When there's when there's money on the line, 
I'm telling you, these girls are going to hold nothing back. I can say from coaching them before, both of them, they, they, they're ruthless. They're ruthless. They will not hesitate to flag. 30 seconds for Alexandra. 20 seconds for Chiyu here. What is going to happen? Okay, once white gets... Yeah, once the king comes out, black gets the king to d4. I think it's more about the time than the position here. Maybe knight e1, knight c1. Okay, that looks like a good one. This move, you've got king d3, though. Be careful. That's a nice one. King d3 is going to hurt Alexandra here. King d3 is going to hurt c2. King d2 or bishop a3. Now, the thing is, you've still got two pawns out here. I mean, Alexandra's got to move quickly. You got five seconds. We know Alexandra can flag. We know Alexandra can flag. Take that. Oh, she's, be she's being too, too serious. Too serious. I've seen Alexandra play a lot faster than that. A lot faster. I think she's nervous, you know. First game goes to Chiyu. And uh, we'll see if she can get into game shape here because I, I don't know about you, chat, but we've all seen Alexandra stream before and she can play faster than that. She can play faster than that. Hair is going to go up soon. Is that right, Maprail? Is that the... Uh, I know you weren't talking about my hair as I put my hair up, but is that the Alexandra sort of like game, game time, uh, you know, in the zone maneuver? Maybe I'm not, uh, not as familiar with that, but we'll have to watch out for that. Map Rail's letting us know when the hair goes up. Maybe we got to watch out. V6 here um, for Bishop A6. Definitely looks, uh, looks nice. Damn, okay. The hair up is a power ball. I'm going to have to remember that. That's good to know. Thank you, guys. B6, I'm, I'm liking here. There's also takes, which to me is really strong because you can't take back with a pawn. Um, so, so this move, this move looks really good here. So let's just say if I took, can't take this way. Can't take with a queen. And if knight takes, I think you can just grab this pawn here. So that that already looked like a, uh, a serious advantage for, for black. Bishop a6, yep, gets that move in. Castles, rook takes h6. So um, we're going to see, she wants to try to break through here, but are there any pawns hanging? That's the issue. I don't see any hanging pawns. She's going to go like this, but I think that bishop on f3 defends everything. Or you can play g4 and it's well defended too. Yep, g4, g5. Knight e7, I imagine. And there's maybe a chance for, I don't know if it's a blunder, but if you go here, c4, this bishop has to go all the way to h7 to stop knight f5 still. So maybe that's uh, not quite what she wanted to do. Okay, so bishop g4, I think that's a much better way of... Uh, of stopping knight f5. Shady is life says, Go Nemo, repping Ottawa. That's right. That's right. Representing Ottawa here. And yes, if you look at the time, as the chat is pointing out, that is another thing to look out for. This has turned into a bad French. Um, this pawn structure that White has, amazing bishop, f5, covered. Um, I think that Black's rooks here, Alexandra's going to feel like, man, what, what are my rooks doing? You know, I need to, uh, I need to somehow get these things into the action. So I don't know if we're going to see this, but um, I think White has a great position here. And if we've paid attention, uh, we've had basically time advantage, I think, uh, throughout for uh, Chiyu in this game. Wow, guys, have to call out some of these donations. Really appreciate the support. We had Dr. Chess Gremlin with a $10 donation. Nikola Stoysen with the $50 donation. Thank you very, very much. Trying to, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, we have a donation goal which supports more of these matches in the future. So really, really appreciate that, guys. Um, we also had Ibrahim. Thanks for the host. AKD with the 500 bits and the gifted sub from Nikola. Again, welcome Monkey Chess. Queen f6. Yeah, this rook h4 was a really nice move, by the way. Covers d4. Uh, the queen was on c3 hitting that pawn. And I think, well, queen there must be good. Yeah, just check. This has got to be leading to, 
I want to say mate. Maybe check. And if here, maybe check here. Something like this. I feel like there's a checkmate to be had here with rook h8. Okay, she she goes for the trade. Hey, I can't I can't say no to that. It's completely winning up a piece, but I, I think there may have been a mate there with queen uh, queen e7 and rook h8 on the horizon. This is going to be a pawn, well, multiple pawns being collected. Ooh, c2, rook f1, I guess. That's what we're relying on. Be careful of that. Okay, rook f2, but maybe rook h5 here. Yeah. Okay, Alexander's putting up good resistance. The problem is that piece, still down a piece, still, you know, down on the clock as well. And I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a 2 0 for Chiyu here, barring a big blunder. Okay, the pawns connect, but no, it's all about that guy. It is all about that one. Alexandra feeling the pressure here. I think that that first game, she needed to be more decisive. Take the win on time. I don't know, she's trying to be too polite or something. Samhain, thanks for the gifted sub. Trying to be too polite. We also had a uh, seven-month resub there and more Botez support. Yeah, she definitely needs your energy, chat. You know, she... She isn't hosting this on her channel just to lose in front of all, just to lose in front of everyone here. She definitely needs, uh, definitely needs an energy wave. Bishop d7. Okay, I mean, I think, I think this is the next step for white. Um, castles, queen side, maybe even a3, b4. Yep, yep. This looks nice. Queen e2, rook e1, and I think b4. This is a very reactive move. Um, not that it's terrible, but um, it, it is playing on, so to speak, playing on the wrong side of the board. I mean, Alexander needs to be focusing over here. And uh, it looks like Chiyu could consider something as crazy as, you know, F6, G5. For those that love to attack in the chat, you will appreciate the kamikaze idea of just blowing open the entire kingside position, F6, G5. Um, if this queen moves, I mean, sometimes this pawn is a little tender. Something to keep in mind for the future. But uh, this this looks like looks like a good good position for for Alexandra. A lot better than the French that we had last game. Thanks for the ten dollars from Maprail. There's f6, so it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see this, but but we might. Okay, c4. Must be. Yeah, I think knight d4. But the other thing is that this knight may be creeping in to the d3 square. I do not think you should take that knight. Yeah, knight e5 looks a lot better. Knight e5 looks a lot better. Now we can take this one, uh, but it will be replaced with another knight. So knight on d3 is happening. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, finally we get that queen e2 move. Um, but knight d3 is going to happen, I guess. Maybe bishop e3. Um, a4 can also be played with the idea of knight b5. So it's quite possible in that position that I may have gone uh, a4 as well. That looked like a looked like an idea. I think knight f5 here, you have to play. Got to go for knight f5. Oof. I mean, this has got to be an automatic move. If you take that, all of a sudden, look at this bishop. Look at that bishop. I mean, Alexander's position is fantastic. It has to be knight f5 there. Knight c2 is just too passive. Far too passive. The knight is trying to make an entrance over here. Um, I suppose a6... Yeah, a6 is playable here. Um, although it does offer the idea of b5 and just opening the position. But, I mean, we just saw this move being played. We know what's happening. Yeah, g5. This knight on d3, well placed. Knight b5, maybe... I guess is she going to take it? Takes, takes, b6. Yeah, knight b5, Alexandra goes for. So this pawn is hanging there. She goes b6, right. So the thing is, by the time you, you build the pressure up over there, I'm not sure it matters. I'm not sure it matters. Maybe you just have to go for it and just take that. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. TN Khan said, Botez is going easy. Well, 
you can't go too easy right now. Chiyu is uh, putting on uh, putting on a two zero performance, and if it if this is the third game going three zero, I'm getting a little concerned here for for Botez and the camp of supporters that uh, that she has. Rook a two. Okay, so this rook is going over here. The I think rook takes a seven needs to be played. Yeah, so rook there. This queen is going to move to let the uh, the rook cover. But for example, let's say something like this happens. I mean, you can even think about bishop takes, and then all of a sudden the uh, the rook gets in there. There's also ideas like taking and swinging the queen over to a two. So I think that uh, that Alexandra has some ideas. Wasn't a big fan of bishop h three personally, but finally she gets that over. Okay, okay, queen d eight. I think a lot better move. She was keeping an eye on this. One thing that I was thinking was maybe we just sack and go queen a2 at the end. I know it looks crazy, but I was at least considering it. I don't think it's enough, though. No, we just don't have any pieces. This bishop is blocked off. This bishop is blocked off here. This is the real issue, is that black, you know, has, has all the play here. I think g3 next is going to be happening. The time's ticking down. And... Uh, yeah, she, I think she's bringing the queen over, but I think g3 has to happen here for black. Okay, she's going defensive. Maybe she's thinking, all right, I'm just going to defend over here. And in the meantime, I'm going to win on, on the clock. I think rook b7 should probably be played. Queen a6. The only idea I see is queen a6 and take on b6. Sack and go rook a8, rook a7 mate. Ooh, but she goes back defensively. No, no, this can't be right. Queen there. Gotta be queen there. Ooh, queen h4, will we see it? Will we see it? The thing is, if you don't play queen h4, just move something, because it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be a win on the clock. Three seconds for Alexandra, and the time is expiring. That has been at least a couple games now where it's just been time. The time is really a killer here. Alexandra needs to uh, get out of streamer mode. Don't worry, Alexandra. I got the stream. Get back into the match. Get back into the match here. Okay, we're going with this French again. Now, this was, at the start, I thought, one of Alexandra's better positions. Uh, maybe this line, is it a little different now, or is it the exact same? I don't think white played f3 this early. Queen a5. Now, if queen d3, knight c6, I swear we already saw that line. So I think she's improving it. Queen d2 is a lot better. A lot better. Rook takes h6. So, I mean, just that free pawn in, in every variation. And I, I'm not actually sure, by the way, too much about this line. I don't know if this is normal to, to lose this pawn, but she's lost it in both games. Um, bishop a6, yeah, she's going for the same setup. Um, I would say maybe, maybe something like queen a3, knight a5, bishop a6 in long castle. Try to use the c4 square. Have to, I think you have to try to get the knight in to c4. I think the positions where you play bishop takes e2 are not going to work out for Alex. c4, okay. Very committal. Looking to simplify the entire game here. Trade queens. And, hmm. What's happening here? Okay, well, first of all, that is on the loose. But let's say white couldn't even take that. I still am not so sure about this because um, these double pawns in the center don't make a good impression. So I wasn't a big fan of uh, CD. Takes... So maybe something, yeah, maybe we have a few moves here, but um, I think white is white is doing well. Okay, I would probably go bishop here. Put some pressure. Knight there can always be played, but then knight takes d4 happens. Bishop a6 with maybe a, a trick? I don't know, like you can take with the bishop, that's the issue. If she takes, bishop takes, and if rook takes, there's rook h8. Now it's possible. Now you can take that. Takes, king takes, there's knight g3, and if bishop takes, rook takes g2. And then, ooh, I think that was the move. You had to go for that. Bishop takes, 
bishop takes, rook takes, and let's say king moves out of the way, not only do we have knight g3, but you know we have some of these tactics. I think that was uh, that was the chance. That was the chance. So she's gone for this, but I mean she's uh, she's gonna get taken, rook there, pawn falling, the invasion is happening. Also, maybe there's some checkmate ideas. I don't know if she wants to go for that. But for example, here, I'm just going to make a random move. I think I can show some checkmates here. Yeah, there we go. There's a checkmate. So, okay, she just goes for the pawn. Can't, uh, can't blame her. This rook is coming down there. A7's also mate. Okay, king. Hmm. Well, king takes. There's rook check. That's the problem. Funny enough, I think that um, that Alexandra has actually had her best chances in these Frenches. I know they don't look good, but that's just the results. She's missed, I think, a free rook in the last French she played, and in this one, she did have that bishop e2 move. So there, there definitely has been a number of chances for her in these positions, even though. The results haven't been there. Yep, this is rough because this pawn is just falling with jack, jack, and then there's going to be rook c7 to trade a pair of rooks. No, I don't. Hmm, I don't see anything. Yeah, that's a very defensive move. And with that rook in the corner, we all know about rook end games. As soon as you go defensive, you're basically uh, basically hopeless. Rook down to g1. Okay, looking for some checks, probably. Yeah, we'll see check. And I think that the king can just march in, but going backwards is fine as well. Um, this is not quite... No, well, with the rook on d1, it wasn't quite a, a move, but now it is. Now I think that's just winning. Okay, yep, this way works as well. But no surprise there. With the king stuck on a6, Alexandra needs to get into game shape. That look on her face is like, you know, does the hair need to go up? Can someone send Alexandra a message? Put that hair up. I've been told that's a power move. Okay, we have the London system. The London system here by Alexandra. And the move h3, just for you Londoners out there, uh, is, is considered just a mistake. Not a good move at all. Um, and the reason is that right here in this position, I mean, black's not threatening to win your bishop. So wait for that bishop maybe to go to e7 and then play h3. Um, h3 by itself uh, is a mistake because now, I, although um, Chiyu played b6, I think even e5, castles and just e5 is a, is a serious, well, total equality for black and maybe even slightly better. So... Just uh, an FYI about the opening. Yeah, the, already this position is is uh, better for black, I would say, maybe just slightly. Uh, but it's not a bad position for, for Alexander. I mean, it's it's workable. Knight's going to go to e4, I think. g6 is also good. Rook e8, king g7. So I would say a lot easier to play with... Uh, a lot easier to play with black here. Yo, Bob! Oh my goodness, Yo Bob with a $50 donation. Thank you very much, Yo Bob. This isn't the uh, this isn't the chess bra channel, so those $50, they they're not going to go towards me playing more matches. This all supports Alexandra's channel, so thank you so much for supporting more of these matches. You can see the donation goal down below. Um, Alexandra clearly is enjoying herself here down 4 games and your donations are going to make more of these matches possible. And I think Alexandra is really happy about that. Queen d8 just played. Uh, this pawn is very well defended. I would take the time to go king g7. Uh, probably rook e8 as well. I see Andrea in the chat. Hello, Andrea. What are your thoughts on your big sister's performance here so far? Down four games. Is it is it sort of uh, in the Botez family to perform comebacks? Is that... Is that what the fans are looking forward to here? That's right, Zefcat. This is a London system sort of like gone wrong. Um, it's not terribly wrong 
I mean, no, not down material, nothing like that. But I think, I mean, even just developing like that, what can Alexandra do here? Uh, that's what we need to know. Sometimes the c4 break helps. Here, I don't think we're ready for it. This knight's a little bit loose. Um, I would say probably takes. Yeah, takes, takes. I mean, it's not a bad move, but I'm I'm a little concerned about this diagonal, the g2 pawn. Like I said, the loose knight. If we take, there's this guy hanging as well. Well, not hanging, but we can double the pawns there. Um, what's the bottom line, though? Alexander needs to play faster. Hey, it's no surprise. Alexandra needs to play faster. Ooh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt here. He's got this battery lined up against just a brick wall there. Just a brick wall. This is not looking like a good position here. Oof, I would say knight takes, pawn takes, and rook takes d4. Ooh, pawn takes, interesting. Okay. Well, if pawn takes was the move, then at least I think Alexandra has some chances here. I was really concerned about rook takes because black structure is just amazing there. Thanks, Nikola, for the gifted sub again. Okay, d3. I don't know about this move. Uh, pawn looks like it is going to make it to d2, though. If it does, then I understand. Otherwise, if you can keep that pawn on d3, maybe there's some chances. Rook d2, okay. Probably queen g3. Queen g3. She is playing some powerful chess here. This, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Black has just been better for pretty much since the opening. I think that h3 move, really, I have to look back. That is a London system. No, you don't do that. Not in the London system. Okay, must be. Got to get the queen out, queen e5. Uh-huh. Bishop d3 is, is it a threat? Maybe not quite. There's knight f4. But we start to dream about stuff like that. Maybe b4 and c5. But hey, 22 seconds. No increment, remember. No increment. Yeah. This is, this is looking tough. I think that Alexandra needs to play faster. Because if she had this position she had in the game, but she was playing a little bit faster, it really wouldn't have been as bad. Wow, that's a, that's a bold move. Ooh, why not give a check? Somewhere. I don't know. Should probably throw in a check there. This is going to hurt. That's a mate in two, and I don't see a way out of it. You can go king there, but queen h3 is still mate in two, or queen g5 to g2. And Alexandra takes a hit for the fifth time. Ouch. Ouch. Alexandra. Let's go. Got to get focused. I mean, wh where is the, the killer instinct? Where's the, the flag, the dirty flagging? Ooh, we see an opening change here. An opening change, c6, d5. And uh, what is it going to be? Alexandra switching it up to the Karo Khan. And I think, I think it may in fact be true that uh, up five games, Chiyu may may find time to do a page of homework at this point. She might squeeze in one page of homework. Maybe maybe an intro to, to a, a final essay or something. C5. I mean, C3 probably, unless you want to play these lines where you take, or knight B3. Okay. Queen C7 or knight C6. We got a lot of Alexandra support in the chat. Um, at least the thing is that uh, this position reminds me of the French positions that Alexandra had earlier, except her bishop is outside the pawn chain, and to be honest, it just looks much better. So at least if she's going to play this, I, I, prefer, I prefer it done this way. MapRail, thanks for the $20 donation. Thank you, thank you. You can see the donation goal at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, just underneath the webcams, Alexandra is trying to raise uh, more money, and the donations just go to supporting more of these uh, of these matches. This is this match has a five hundred dollar prize, winner take all. So it's uh, it's already looking like there's there's a fa there's certainly a favorite to take that prize money home right now, and it's looking like Chiyu with a 
with a pretty solid performance so far. Um, but right now, we're halfway. Halfway to 10 wins for, for Chiyu. And Alexandra, I think, has a very good position. She's up on time for a change. That's what we like to see. Queen g5. Probably I would take. I don't see a future to playing those moves because a4 is coming. I think I would grab that pawn. Um, the king sort of doesn't have a, a clean place to go. Maybe maybe f6 once we castle. Now b5, I'm wondering what's happening after a4. Is it going to be b4? Does she have some ideas? Because I'm, I'm not... I feel like I don't like this position after a4 here for black. g2 looks well defended. Well, <laughs> as I say that, even more well defended now. Bishop... Probably h7. Get that bishop out of there. That's a big threat. Would totally ruin the pawn structure. And you'd like to keep that all together. Okay, instead Alexandra decides to bring the knight over. Now, again, guys, a4 is, to me, screaming out to be played. This move, because the thing is, a6 cannot be uh, played because the rook is hanging. So whenever you see this, you know, someone's just trying to take back, you keep undermining the pawns until they can't defend it anymore. And a6 is not possible here. So I think a4 is a, uh, is a big move by white. Yeah, this is, this is very annoying. Maybe there's some weird try with b4 and c3. I would probably go for it, for lack of a better thing to do. But this is opening up. The knight's coming to d6. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I would have I would have probably gone for the b4 there. It didn't look good, but I want to say it probably looked better than this. Knight c8 covering. If we remember back to the first game, if we remember back to the first game, it was actually Alexandra's best chance. She just had to had to flag. They both had 7 seconds. It didn't matter. She was down a piece. Now, unfortunately, it's gotten away from her a little bit. 5 games. If she survives this one and wins, we we could be seeing the turnaround because this is looking this is looking really rough right now. Bishop f3. So if takes the knight. Oh, I thought the knight would come back. Instead, rook f3, intending rook g3. Yeah. And unfortunately, that looks like it was missed by uh by Alexandra. Are there any tricks here? Oh, it's not looking like it. It's not looking like it, and her face isn't looking like it either. That is an expression. That is an expression that does not look like a happy one. Down six games here for everybody donating and supporting. Uh, as Alexandra said, thanks to 30 for the $30 donation. Vila coming in with a really important $5 donation, getting that hair up. And Brad, thank you for the $20. We have eclipsed the donation goal to support more of these matches and streams and I hope you guys are enjoying it honestly um, because right now the hair is up the donations are in the energy is high Alexandra's family members are supporting her you guys are supporting and I think you know from a pure chess entertainment perspective we, we'd like to see Alexandra get on the board here right we don't want to you don't want to have Alexandra stream the match and get adopted on her own stream no no that that's just not nice that is just not nice. So, let's see if Alexander can turn it around. We are back to the same opening, by the way, that she used in the very first game. And hang on a sec, is that a pawn? Let's grab that. Alexandra, the hair is up, and I'm telling you, look at what we're seeing here. It's a different person. This is hair up Alexandra. She means business. Oh, look at that. Pawn up already. Guys, I think we might be seeing the turnaround here. This knight needs to sit on d4. Rook over to c1. And wow, this is already totally different. Now, one thing I would have said here is I, I do like the idea of saving the bishop, but I understand why she played queen e2. She was looking at that pawn over there. Um, if knight takes a2, I thought we had queen d2 to, to cut off the squares the knight would escape in. But um, she is still up a pawn. Got a great position. Knight on d4. Queen takes. Bishop a6. Ooh, did she fall for a little trick there? She's going to have to go knight b5. It's not ideal. 
I think she's in trouble here. After something like knight b5 takes, takes, queen b2. Yeah, she's gonna have to play knight b5. That's a slip up. That's a slip up there. Ooh, okay. I respect that. I respect that. She gives up the exchange to not, to not enter that position. And hey, the knight is very solid there. As long as she plays quickly, she still has very good chances here. Um, but we have to say that the the advantage here is with is with um, black because of the material. Now, one thing I want to point out: g6 to me is better than h6 just because it, it stops knight f5. So just the idea of g6 having these pawns control the squares the knight can move to is uh, is a nice touch. Now, she's controlling the second rank. I would love to see maybe g3, king g2, h4. This rook check doesn't matter too much. She's probably going to have to play g3 eventually. Hmm. Now there's no there's no sacks here that work as far as I can see. David, wow, thanks for the raid. 36 people coming in to watch a very exciting match we have between uh, two Canadian talents. Uh, we have Chiyu Jo, uh, Fide Master, the highest rated uh, female player in Canada, taking on your very own Alexandra Botez. And I'm here providing commentary and just doing a, a channel takeover. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying and definitely welcome to the 36 new people that are now tuning in. Uh, a minute, 20 seconds to a minute. Alexandra has to play quickly. There is just no way around it. Her position is totally fine. I know she's down material, but this is okay. This is okay. Queen A1. Okay, so some ideas. And guys, remember when I said I wanted G6. This is why. Seriously, that knight f5 man, and she plays it anyway, but you would rather have that pawn there so it's not loose. There you see queen f4 hitting that pawn. So everything that I was talking about before coming full circle. Full circle. Okay, queen there. Hitting the rook. I imagine rook e2. Probably the, the best move. It's totally safe. Alexandra has a good position. I actually prefer to be down material here because of how solid it looks. It's really hard to checkmate this king. Um, and hey, you're taking pawns over there, maybe h4, h5. She's going to go rook there? No. Hmm. I expected rook c1 and rook there, but Alexander has a good position. We need the speed, though. Chess Weeb, thanks for the 37 raiders. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. This is Alexandra's game, guys. You're looking at the same position I'm looking at. This is her game. Queen d1, but this is not a big threat. King goes up, no problem. Is she going to go here, or is she going to take that? Both are okay. You just got to make a move. And then there's a Botez Gambit. There's a Botez Gambit. Oh, my goodness. It wouldn't be a stream without a Botez Gambit. That was her best game. Should have been a win. Uh, it. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Alexandra can't believe it. But in some ways, she can. I mean, we have seen this time and time again. Time and time again. Queen h4 is just such a classic Alexandra moment. Oh my goodness. Such a classic moment. There's never been a more Alexandra thing done on Alexandra's stream than that. The, the $500 on the line, you know, serious match. Mama Botez has no idea what's going on. Andrea is probably proud of her sister. I mean, this is, I mean, it's just not looking good here. The Botez gambit didn't need to happen. It really didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. On to the next game. But, but hair up Botez was playing a lot better. She won a pawn early. That was her best game. It really was. And it's just so, so tragic that it would be marred by... None other than a Botez Gambit. Oh my goodness. How do you recover from that, believe me? Uh, <laughs> I personally don't have a lot of experience in that area, hanging my full queen, so I don't actually know their recovery process. I'm not too familiar with it. So I think if anyone is poised to recover from that, it's probably Alexandra. 
That, I think that's fair to say. I think that's fair to say. If anyone is poised to make a recovery here, if anyone knows more about this very specific technical field, it is Alexandra. So we, we put our faith in her. Uh, Queen H7 may be the idea here. This is just not looking like a great position. Um, we would have liked to maybe get the bishop to a6. Try to take, uh, take c5 here. Yeah, I agree. These g5 positions have been good for Chi Yu pretty much the whole time. Pretty much the whole time. Alexandra has had good positions when she's been playing white, like the last game we saw. Th those positions in general have been better for her. Uh, she's had her chances in these French games, make no mistake, but she's missed those chances when they've come about. And and unfortunately, you know, Chi Yu's not going to give you two, three, four different chances to, to make a comeback or to get back in the game. There may be a blunder or two, but if you don't capitalize on those mistakes, then unfortunately, it's not going to work out. Hello, Agent JL. Brendan, thanks for the 200 bits. Brian J. Kinney also. Big shout out for the $20 donation there. Uh, Alexandra, up on time right now, but this move, inviting C3, I mean, she's basically got to be taking now because this move is so strong. And if she takes, oh, well, hang on a sec. Why not just take the pawn? Was I missing something there? Okay, she's got this, but um, D7's hanging. So I think we're, are we gonna see takes? Now, if we castle, the issue is that Rook takes F7 is playable. So I think you gotta play Bishop there, uh, but then you can't castle because the Rook is, uh, is covering. So, okay, bishop f5 played. Let's say rook there. I think the bishop needs to be on e6, and then maybe knight e7. Yeah, allowing this rook to swing over there, I don't think that was the best. She's still got a workable position, though. Time is even. Time is even. I think white's probably slightly better. But if pawn takes, for example, we can see king d7, bishop e6. And I can easily see black. Yep, I can easily see black winning this. Bishop e6. Let's go. Nice move. Probably bishop there, I guess. A6 takes and rook c2 to c7 is the idea. No, no, not again. I know it's a third of the value, but it's still, you know, it was a good, it was a good piece. You know, it, 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 the bishop was doing good things. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. What did he do to deserve that? Oh my goodness. You guys were saying no more Botez Gambits, you know. Hey, cut that out. And she did. But now she's blundering bishops instead of queens. So I'm not actually sure if, if it's much of an improvement. I mean, we'll take it at this point. But she's only got two more games to make an improvement. She's only got two more games. That is two games thrown away by entire piece blunders. Can Alexandra stave off the adoption? Is this going to be 10-0? Is this going to be 10-0? Oh, no. Chi is just looking on like, you know, it just looks like a day at work for, for Chi Yu here. The hair's back down. I mean, we, so far, we, so far, we just put the hair up and blundered a queen and a bishop. So maybe it does need to come back down. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, that was scary. I thought she was about to put her hair up. Then, it, then we may as well just, you know, throw it in the towel. Oof, Alexander needs a breather. He needs to, needs to refocus here. Okay. Now, play that opening again. It went well. The, the, the opening from last game. Basically, you can repeat the whole game. Just don't blunder your queen. What do we think, chat? Is, is Alexandra, you know, we've, we've all witnessed the same match. She's clearly feeling the tilt, as she said herself in chat. She's blundering queens, pieces, and she is playing, to her credit, a fantastic match. Is it going to be 10-0? What do you guys think? Queen b4. That's already a pawn. Oh, okay. Queen b4. Do you guys not like pawns? Hey, I'll take a pawn, you know. I'll take a pawn. I'm that kind of person. Man, nobody wants that pawn over there. <laughs> I'm telling you, this pawn has been free for a good little while here. 
takes. And what's going to happen here? Queen takes. I like queen d5. Now, king h8, probably best because takes takes looks annoying. Hmm. I would have maybe considered king h8, but maybe this is this is fine as well. Um, I think I think this is fine for Alexandra. One of her one of her best openings, even if you just bring the knight back, maybe h4, long castle. Alexandra's doing well here. Once again, doing well. Now, why did I suggest the move h4? It was specifically because of g5. Um, it's a nice way to keep your knight there. If black goes h6 to go here, you play h5. Kind of a typical idea. And if g5, remember en passant, and then that's how your knight stays on f4. Um, so she's she's gone h4. I think if h6 takes, takes, okay, this is good. Knight gets back to f4. This bishop needs to be on e2, or at the very least this diagonal, no question. These should be the next moves from Alexandra. Rookie one is okay, but then after bishop f1, there's knight f3. So I think get that bishop around, king b2. h5 is an all right move. Uh, I don't hate it, but I think it's unnecessary. That being said, Alexandra up on time. Does have a good position. I'm just looking out for those pieces, hoping she doesn't blunder them. Ali Gucci, thanks for the Twitch Prime. All Gucci. Which uh, I'm not sure it is here, but maybe c4. Finally, we get this. I like it. Yeah, this is why I was considering c4 by white to stop this idea. I don't know how good it is, but I do know that uh, without it, I think the counterplay is just minimized. The last three games from Alexandra have been probably her best games of the match. Um, and in some ways, they've also been her worst games of the match. So... They've been the best chess games, but they've been just spoiled at the end by blundering a full piece. So she's clearly playing better chess after the break. That's for sure. She is playing better. Why does it say FM before Chiyu's name? Well, that's because she holds the title of Fide Master. That's an FM. She is a WGM and an FM. And me, I'm only a GM and I only have one title. So she's got me beat there. Rook c7. I think I think this knight is sinking into that square. That knight on d3 is going to cut these rooks in half. Astronomisfit. Nice username. Thanks for the $5 donation. Thank you for the $5 donation. Yeah, takes, takes. And this is why I didn't like the idea of pushing that pawn too far. Because now it can be taken. Now, this pawn is still loose, so it's not so simple. Uh, just feels like black can, you know, take your time, build up the position. Bishop e2. Uh huh. I I'd like to see maybe like king to b4 from Alexander. Something more aggressive here. b5, king a3, king b4, trying to gain up on that pawn. I know the black knight is going to sink into d3 or something, but okay. I think Alexandra maybe trying to bring the knight this way. Giving up that pawn there. Nope. Okay, back to defending it. Is it going to be king? Yep. King g5. Nice job, Alexandra. Let's go b5. Something. Get something in there. Yep. Knight d3 is going to hurt. There's not much you can do about that. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a painful move because it hits this pawn. It pretty much has to be taken. And basically, if you take this way, well, even if you take this way, yeah. To, to stop d2, d1, you have to bring your king back. Okay, 27 seconds. Play faster, Alexandra. Play faster. I think she is playing... Okay, there's a chance here. Black can basically take and play h4. Ooh, I would have gone c4 there. I would have gone knight g2. She's allowing a lot here. She doesn't need to be allowing all this. Ooh, could have played king h3. Alexandra has chances here. Alexandra has chances here. Knight b6 and c7. Knight b6 first. No, not c7 first. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, and I believe... Oh, man, this is still pretty tricky, though. Uh, you're not going to be able to keep that pawn. This, this might still be winning for black. Let's see here. Yep, this might still be winning... Time ticking down as well. 
Oh no. Time taking up nine. We are at nine points. Are, are we really, I mean, we're having such a good time. Are we really calling it right here? Or are you going to give give the fans what they're looking for? Well, come on. I'm not going to say I'm having the time of my life right now. Um, oh, no. But I'm going to try not to get adopted. Chiyu, don't you dare feel bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I do have to give you chocolates, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it just, look, once you adopt me, I just want you to be a good mother. Is that too yeah, much to yeah, ask yeah. for? Uh, okay. No, it won't be. So many people watching. I see over 1,600 for quite a while here. Let's get an energy wave in the chat. I know this isn't the chess bra channel. I know it's not the chess bra channel. But over in the chess bra channel, when, when someone needs our support and our energy, we get the emotes from that channel and we spam them in the chat to show our love and appreciation. So I think we need one of those right now for Alexandra to keep this match going. Keep this match going. Just, just a little, a little bit of chest bra spice in there. That's what we do. She needs it right now. Alexandra with the black pieces playing the Kairokan again. Let's go, let's go. Alexandra, I mean, not only does she have to win this game, she has to win 10 games in a row. It would be absolutely incredible, but one step at a time. One step at a time. We got to win this one first. Let's go, Alexandra. Knight a3. Blade, okay, so first of all, we see a different line. Uh, different line. C4, well, I should say C5 by Alexandra. And instead of the C3 that we saw from Chiyu earlier, we see C4 much more aggressive. And looking at just castle. I think as far as the opening goes, this has to be pretty okay for, for Alex. Um, one thing to be careful of, of course, is don't allow this. Ugh. Don't let that check happen. Don't let that check happen. Okay, so takes. Now knight takes should be the move, hitting the bishop. And if you take there, you gotta watch out. There's bishop check, there's knight takes. To me, bishop check is a really nasty move here. Ooh. Okay, so she hits this pawn. It's definitely a good move, but um, I think it's important to play this check. If knight there, well, this is basically lost because it's pinned and you can't move it ever again. Queen c2 castle. So she gives up the pawn. Um, honestly, I think it's probably the right decision. I think trying to hang on to that pawn, you would have ran into uh, the bishop b5 check. Would have been a little tough. A little tough. Okay, this pawn is loose. Are we going to see a3? Most likely, I would say. Uh, or b5, I guess. You have to hang on to that pawn somehow. Um, if bishop there, there's always g6. So Alexandra is down a pawn here, but there are opposite bishops. She's sort of evening the clock right now. I don't think this is the worst case. This is not the worst case. Papa Bota is in the chat as well. Man, when, when the whole family is there, it really does get you get funeral vibes. Like that's one of the that's one of the main gatherings where your in, entire family shows up to watch something bad happen. So I, I'm really getting those type of vibes from from the chat right now. So hopefully hopefully Alexandra can can pick it up. H three. Okay, she's up on time. What twenty seconds? Uh, a little bit less. Ninety six. Maybe King G seven. There's always this move, maybe this. I think h5 is fine here as well. I don't like allowing h5 by white. Um, Chiyu should be playing g3, king, g2. She's been playing fantastic um, pretty much the whole match, but also um, in this game as well. I think g3, king, g2. Yeah, so takes. Even pawn takes is reasonable here, but I think she's going to probably take with a rook. It's just rook d7 is happening either way. And I guess you have to go rook c7 to avoid losing material. Bishop b5. A6. Down a pawn, but still chances, I have to say. Still chances. Okay, those pawns are on the uh, on dark squares, which is good to, to recognize. I think that this knight is going to enter c6. There's going to be f4. Maybe, maybe wait for f4 and go a5 for some trick. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get bishop c5 to work. 
pinning the knight to the king, but I'm I'm grasping at straws here, guys. It's it's a really bad position. Maybe f6. It's rough. It's rough. You got to do something. Move, Alexandra. You got 40 seconds against 50. We can't lose this game. We can't lose this game. A5 doesn't work here anymore. Not that it ever worked, but it it, it cer certainly doesn't work now. 27 seconds. You got you got to go faster. Got to go faster. It's not going to be a good move here. She plays it anyway. Swift takes. Maybe grab the pawn and come back with bishop there. Yeah, take that. No, take it. We can take that pawn. Pawn takes and go knight a6. Now the, the bishop is just trapped. Now there's nothing to do. Oof. Knight a7. Yeah, I gotta go back here. She had a chance there. Takes and knight a6, but now there's now there's really nothing. F6. I like the idea. Getting the bishop down there. Chiyu should not take that. Okay. Maybe bishop. Oh, it's tough. It just takes, takes, king c5. There's almost no moves here. There's almost not a single move. Seven seconds to 20. Alexandra, just pre-move. We know you can play fast. Yes. That's better. That's better. Take that. That's better. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Alexandra. Go, 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 go. Draw the game. A draw delays the match. Two seconds. And it's the right bishop for the corner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. And she used fast oh, no. enough. Is she fast enough? She's fast enough. No stalemates. Oh, no. Point nine. Oh, and she won. <laughs> and she won. 10 games in a row. That is the official adoption. What a finish, too. Point nine seconds. That was, I, I, I feel like Alexandra in that last time scramble there really left it all on the table. It was, you know, a lot of King Primos, but not <laughs> enough. Alexandra, first thoughts after going down 10 0 to. Canada's number one female player. How do you feel about your maybe your expected score for yourself going in and how it turned out? Um, you know, I was hoping for at least three points, three maybe four. Okay, but so, realistically. But, well, now you're asking me realistically after the adoption. Um, no, I mean, Chiu played really well, and she's a very strong player. And despite not playing a lot of online chess, clearly her classical play was also pretty representative in her online stuff. So she honestly deserved it. And if anything, we're showcasing why we need to get Chiyu on Twitch. And that was part of my goal behind this evil plan. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I think a lot of people are uh, wondering when is going to be, you know, Chiyu's Twitch debut, and if it's going to be chess. Chiyu, how do you feel? You just won 10 games in a row. Uh, not a lot of them have looked, looked easy. I have to say, the, the queen hang, there have been full piece hangs. There were definitely some ones where it felt like Alexandra was going to take them. How did you feel about the whole match? Did it feel smooth, or were you a little nervous, or, or how were your emotions during the match? Well, so I was actually really nervous last night. Like, I was freaking out a little. Like, I was, oh, my God, I haven't played Blitz. I, I barely, um, like, what is this time, Coach? Three minutes. Okay. So I went online. I went on to chess.com. You'll see that if you look at my timestamp between the games I played last night and the previous, it was September 7th. So I haven't played in, like, a good three months-ish. I was like, okay, well, okay, time to get some three-minute games in because I need to figure out. And this is actually advice by Alexandra. You know, she told me like, oh, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, it would be good for you if like you did some tactics or like all that. <laughs> so so not, not, a, not a ton of chess.com experience because I would say that, that in this format, especially when there's, I mean, there's, it's online chess, totally different. There's flagging involved. If you aren't playing a ton on chess.com, it is something new to, to get used to. Was it... Did you ever feel like uh, I don't know in a time scramble or something? You were you were not that used to playing with a mouse, or or have you secretly been been practicing online? Well, I my mouse speed is really good from League of Legends. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm just gonna ah. yeah. <laughs> but That's it's what it like is. making a good move. 
and having fast that's a difficult part but yeah. that's true speed is not the hardest and you have beaten alexandra 10 games so i mean now that you have a new daughter uh we're, we're just all wondering what's going to be the first mother-daughter activity <laughs> yeah. What just happened? <laughs> I was like, what just happened? <laughs> you, that would be a pretty nice consolation prize. I'm expecting the chocolates in the mail. Okay. okay, I'll make sure to get it by Christmas. That'll be a nice consolation prize. You got that, chat? Wait, what? Why is why is why is chat freaking out? I mean, honestly, it was just a, a, a big moment. They were all wondering what, what it was going to be, and none of them could believe it when, when they heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're back now. Um, no, it's okay. I deserve to be frozen after, after that play. Look, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled, and I know that I have a lot of work to do. I have an over-the-board tournament towards the end of December. And I think if I ever feel like not studying chess, I'm just going to replay this match, wipe off the tears, and just go go study or something. 